In today's video, I am going to explain the most important problem from functions of a complex variables. See here, if W is given as Z cube. So, what is given? W is given as Z cube. And prove that U is equal to C1. V is equal to C2, where C1, C2 are constants, cut each other orthogonally. So, we have to frame that W is equal to U plus IV. So, what is given W is equal to Z cube is given. So, we know that Z is equal to this is X plus IY. So, the W will be X plus IY whole cube. So, as you know that A plus B whole cube formula is nothing but. So, this is A cube plus 3A square B plus 3AB square plus this is B cube. So, A cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Now our w will be, so this is x cube and this this will be 3x square y i bar. So i square is minus, minus this is 3x y square and i square this is minus y cube into i. So there is real part as well as imaginary part. So when we compare these two and here this is multiplied by i so if i separate this one so this will be w is equal to w is equal to x cube minus 3xy square plus i times of this is 3x square y minus y cube so this is of the form w is equal to so what is w here it is given that u plus iv so it is given here w is equal to u plus iv now what is u here so, u is equal to x cube minus 3xy square and v is given as 3x square y minus y cube. And here, u is equal to constant c1 and v is equal to c2. See here, what is u? u is equal to c1 and v is equal to this is c2. Now, c1 is equal to x cube minus 3xy square and constant c2 is nothing but 3x square y minus y cube so we have two families of curves now we have two families of curves the two families of curves are the two families of curves are first one that is x cube minus 3xy square is equal to c1 and the next one 3x square y minus y cube is equal to c1 so if i consider the first equation that is x cube so here this is x cube minus 3xy square is equal to c1 if i differentiate with respect to x this will be 3x square and so if it is a uv rule then see what happens so for x it is 1 so this is 3y square and this is 3x and this will be 2y into dy by dx is equal to the constant 0. So, if I multiply this is 3x square minus 3y square. So, this is 6xy into dy by dx is equal to 0. So, if I cancel throughout the equation by 3. So, this will be x square minus y square. This is minus 2xy into dy by dx is equal to 0. Now, see here I need the slope value. Slope is nothing but dy by dx. So, here so, x square minus y square is equal to 2xy into dy by dx. Now, what is our dy by dx? So, dy by dx is equal to x square minus y square by this is 2xy. So, after getting the slope, the slope of the tangent, now slope of the tangent at point. So, this is slope of the tangent at point x naught y naught will be at the point x naught y naught will be the slope is nothing but m1 so m1 is equal to this is x naught square y naught square by 2 x naught into y naught so this is equation number one so the next one is the next equation will be see here the second family here is 3x square y minus y cube is equal to c2 now the second equation is nothing but 3x square y so this is 3x square y minus y cube is equal to c2 
so if i differentiate with respect to x and solve if i differentiate with respect to x this will be 6xy and 3x square for y this is dy by dx and this for y cube this will be 3y square into dy by dx is equal to for constant this is 0 so if i cancel throughout by 3 this will be 2xy plus x square minus y square into dy by dx is equal to 0 then what is our dy by dx so dy by dx value is equal to this is minus 2xy by x square minus y square now the slope of the tangent at a point now the slope of the tangent at the point x naught y naught will be the slope i consider this for the second family that is m2 that is minus 2 x naught y naught by this is x naught square minus y naught square in place of x x naught in place of y y naught this is equation number two so we have to show that the slopes are orthogonal to each other so we have to consider the product of the slopes the product of the slopes is nothing but m1 into this is m2 what is m1 here so m1 value is nothing but this is x naught square minus y naught square by 2 x naught y naught and what is our m2 value so this is nothing but minus 2 x naught y naught by this is x naught square minus y naught square now i can cancel the numerator and denominator and this for minus 1 times therefore i got the product of the slopes m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 so the product of the slopes is minus 1 so these curves intersect orthogonally therefore so these curves intersect orthogonally they intersect orthogonally thus the two families of the curves intersect orthogonally so this is how we have to show that and this is so simple see here first of all w is given as z cube and z cube if i expand so this is the real part and this is the imaginary part u i have taken as x cube minus 3 x x y square and v i have taken as 3 x square y minus y cube so this is uh, u is c1 and v is c2 from the question so u is c1 and uh, v is c2 so after getting the two families of the curves first i took the first family and i have differentiate with respect to x and made a slope out of it and dy by dx is equal to x square minus y square by 2xy and at the point x naught y naught and this is m1 and using the second curve i made a derivative and this is slope to m2 so if i substitute the point here this is m2 slope so i have to make a product out of it that is m1 into m2 so after finding that m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 since the product of the slopes is uh, minus 1 so we say that the curves intersect orthogonally and this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching please go through my next videos upcoming videos also so thank you so much